the restrictions that have been enforced since November are still very much uh, in place. Uh, today, uh, you know, we had a Greek Orthodox Easter over the weekend, and exceptionally, people were allowed to visit their uh, family members and allowed the gatherings of people, uh, urging, of course, people to have PCR tests before uh, to ensure that everyone is safe. Now, uh, the big news, of course, as the country gradually heads to a total reopening to allow visitors to come, is first the big step is cafes and restaurants, which are uh, really such an important uh, service and industry uh, here in Greece. So there are still, of course, very strict uh, measures that will be in place, and that is only cafes and restaurants and bars who have outdoor space will be allowed to operate. So that shuts out around 20% uh, of the industry uh, itself. Uh, also, the people will only be allowed to be seated. No music will be allowed to be played. Uh, six people per table maximum. Workers will have to wear masks, uh, will have to be uh, regularly uh, once a week um, tested to see that uh, they are safe to continue uh, serving people. And of course, a curfew will still be in place uh, at least for at least this week until uh, 11 o'clock at night, people will be allowed to stay out while all these uh, cafes, restaurants and bars uh, will only be allowed to operate until 10:45 uh, after they'll be allowed to to uh, have delivery service. So the uh, authorities here are trying to open up with caution. It's a big test uh, for Greece and for Greeks who, uh, after so many months, will be allowed to congregate around a, a table and have a drink or a meal uh, with friends. Natalie Savarikis in Athens.